Dean Kamen is a prolific inventor, possibly the most important inventor you've never heard of. While you may not know his name, you certainly know his work. From the Segway to the Coca-Cola Freestyle Soda Fountains, the iBot Robotic Wheelchair to the Auto Syringe, Kamen has made his mark on the world. We like to work on very broad-based projects that involve maybe applying some fundamental law of physics in a way that hasn't been typically used. We build sophisticated systems that have hardware and software and mechanics and electronics and sensors. I mean, look at the iBot, gyroscopes and accelerometers and big transmissions that carry 300 pound people around and computers that control the balance. Um, I would say we like to start with a clean piece of paper, some fundamental physics and say, why can't we approach this old problem in a new way with new technology and get a much better result? For Cayman, it all started with the auto syringe. This product, created in 1976, was the world's first wearable medicinal infusion pump and is the inspiration for most modern pumps today. But his need to make the product a success came from a very personal place. I started making more and more of them and it ended up being a business, and it became enough of a business that I couldn't both keep going to college and give that the attention it need and build this business. So I ended up going home and telling my parents I was gonna, at least for a while, stop going to college. And my mother, who's a teacher and believes in education, was so disappointed or upset or worried about me that she pretty much stopped talking to me. And so I remember that phrase everybody uses that say necessity is the mother of invention. You probably heard that it's a common phrase. Necessity is the mother of invention. But after she stopped talking to me, I realized my inventions better work or she'd not talk to me anymore. So to me, it wasn't anymore that necessity, my brother's was the mother of invention. My need to get my mom smiling again was, it was mother is the necessity of invention. His mother, a retired educator living in Florida, instilled a focus on education in him at an early age. This focus is a big part of why he created his most important invention for inspiration and recognition of science and technology, better known as FIRST. This organization helps to bring excitement about education around the world. Robotics programs ranging from preschool to high school. These competitions encourage teamwork, cooperation, and learning. I started first, I believe, as a, in the same way we do other projects, look at an old problem, look at a new way to approach it, and build a system, test it, and if it works, scale it up. Well, in our free country and a free culture, we get the best of what to celebrate. And we know that kids are passionate about sports and entertainment. Why don't we figure out how to get kids to celebrate successes in science and technology and engineering and inventing? And why don't we put it in, in a format that we know works for kids, sports? And that approach has been extremely successful, inspiring millions of kids around the world for over 30 years. Yeah, and speaking for myself, I mean, I've never been a test taker. I've never been one to like memorize things in school. I started first. Um, I was introduced to it through some members of my uh, tennis team and they showed me their team. They were like, hey, like we're on team duct tape. Do you want to like find out more? And I'm like, yeah, honestly, I think school like does its best, but I don't think I would have been a software engineer if it wasn't for first. And so, Dean Kamen's legacy of education, inspiration, and innovation will be felt for many generations to come.